I just wanted to add this part here in addendum, um, uh, chiefly about this um, here when, you, when you're checking your height map in Blender. Um, one thing, just addressing my issues that were present in the last video. Um, one reason why I, f I keep forgetting this. One reason why the height map didn't show up when I uh, hit render um, was because you have to uh, apply the modifier. So just that simple uh, to apply the modifier. But before I apply the modifier um, to address the issues of the uh, the raised edges here, it's uh, it's not so. I don't think it's so much the issue of the uh, height map as it is the, it's just the way. It's uh, being displaced here in Blender, but uh, one way around it, you can fix it. Uh, let's go down to the image mapping of the uh, texture, of the height map texture. Just bring it down uh, the crop maximum, just uh, by one one click over. Just just bring it down. You just want to remove just a little slightly. Slide off the edges, and that'll fix the problem. Just want to see if this, uh, and just see if it remove a little more of the, uh, yeah, that's right. You just, just play around with the crop minimum, <laughs> minimum and the crop maximum until the edges are all fixed. Um, okay, well, now I'm going to go to the modifier. I added a subdivision uh, modifier. So sub, uh, it's just uh, just make it a little smoother. Uh, some sometimes if your if your if your terrain is too grainy, if it's too granular, uh, sometimes that will show up in your height map, especially if like if it's, you have a very you have an area like here where it'll it'll be it'll show up. It's very faceted, you know. That can be kind of Show an example. Imagine if these if these were a lot larger. Sometimes that does show up in the details. So you do want to make sure you have it shading smooth, not flat. Uh, and you do want to have it on um, have enough sub, um, surface divisions on the uh, terrain. With that, I'm going to apply and apply. Now, if I produce height map. I should see it, and that's that's nice. And the nice thing about this is that I just want to go ahead and compare it with the uh, GIMP version. It's very, uh, very close. Very, it's probably I don't know the exact same values, but it's very close. It's, it's uh, but uh, one thing you can do, I, I love about this process here, is that you can uh, take this into sculpt mode. And what you created, you can what you created in 2D as uh, you can you know you can use as your your base. You can finish up in 3D. So like here, I wanted this to be a hill. I think I'll go and smooth. And again, I'm just using my mouse here. I'm not you know, just I'm not trying to make this um, very very neat or anything. But I'm just using the mouse. I think I'm getting a little stronger. And you can just swap between your 2D program and your 3D program. Yeah. And it's, it's very it's nice to have two options because for some things I find that like when I'm drawing uh, when, I, when I need to have like ravines or or little gullies or whatever. I find it is a little easier to do in a 2D program. Or, or maybe if I have a path, it's a lot easier to do in a 2D program. And, and I tend to do a lot of the uh, integrating the features, like I did this hill here, inside the 3D program. It's much easier because it's it's uh, it's just another another way to work directly. It's very nice to work directly. There's also another method um, in creating height maps that I use in Blender. Um, what it involves, what it, what it entails is basically me painting a height map using the uh, texture paint. I will show, I will discuss that in, an, in another video. In fact, I have a series of uh, videos uh, I'm working on um, that that will show that whole process. Um, and I'll just create a whole land, a whole real 
you know game landscape using using that method. But uh, for the most part, for most people, you know, because not everyone. Uh, ideally, I want to have this uh, this kind of process accessible to people who uh, are not necessarily the most artistic. But but um, it can but it is a, a a method to help you know help uh, match closer to what they have in mind. So it's not as you can see, it wasn't very hard to create a heel base of the heel here and. You know, so so if you're not a particularly strong artist, you can work uh, your basic shapes in 2D, which is very simple to do, and then you can go and further refine it in 3D. And once you have that, you can just render that. There you have a much better hill, and then you can just save this over your your height map information the, 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 of your height map you made and again over that and so if I if I save this and replace this um, file it would this will show up but usually what I do is I uh, I'll save it and I'll uh, let's call it something like from to or wait, actually, to okay. That way, I can take this. If I want to, I can take this into. Um, I can take this into GIMP, and I can edit more 2D features on there as I please. So, anyway, I just want to add a little bit there.